little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Surfing. Peppa is on holiday at Kylie Kangaroo's house. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> this is the beach. Wow! Look at the sea! And the waves! <laughs> yeah! You'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa. Kylie <laughs> is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! Whee! <laughs> surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> surfing is the best thing ever. Ready? George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> 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 your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. wave. What's that? Wave! Wave! wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! <laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I loved surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's 
Freddy's Dinosaur Park. Today is Freddy Fox's birthday and all the children are going on a big adventure. Where are we going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. We're here! <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh! Dinosaur! <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. Phew! Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur, a real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, please! These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look, there are some green steps. It's a big slide. Whee! Whee! Whoa! Whee! Wow, it's a big dinosaur. Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! That is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grampy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Going boating. Peppa and her family have come to the lake to go boating. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! What sort of boats do you have, Miss Rabbit? I've got canoes! Ooh, 
let's have a canoe. Hmm. You have to paddle a canoe? That's hard work. I've got sailing boats. It's a bit tricky to sail a sailing boat. And I've got pedalos. They look nice and relaxing. Yes. They've got a big paddle wheel to make them go. Let's have a pedalo. <laughs> when I ring this bell, it's time to bring the boat back. Enjoy your boat trip. It's not moving. No. How do we start the engine? <laughs> You're the engine, Daddy Pig. You have to pedal. Oh, I see. Off we go, then. It's a bicycle on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Riding in a pedalo on a sunny lake. Daddy is the engine. I hope he doesn't break. <laughs> Here are Emily Elephant and her family. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We'd like a canoe, please. Certainly. The elephant family like canoeing. Paddles ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy elephant. elephant. Then let's go. Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit. It is Danny Dog and his dad, Captain Dog. We'd like a boat, please. Certainly. I have canoes, sailing boats or pedalos. I didn't sail the world and make my fortune to splash around in a pedalo. We'll take the sailing boat. Do you know how to work it? Do I know how to work it? I'm Captain Dog. Ruff. Come on, Danny. All aboard. Full sail. Aye, aye, Captain Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We're sailing. We're canoeing. We're pedaling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, an island. We could go there for our picnic. Hooray! Oh! <laughs> the island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boat. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please! <laughs> Here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Your time is up. One, two and three. That's us. Let's see who can get back first. We'll have a race. Yes! Pedal faster, Daddy. I'm not sure I can pedal much faster. Oh, Daddy Pig. I'll do the pedalling. Quick on, Mummy. This is quite hard work, isn't it? Aha! We'll be carried back by the wind, Danny. Oh. What is it? The wind has stopped. Without any wind, the sailing boat cannot go. We'll just have to wait for the wind to pick up again. How long will that take? I don't know. It could be weeks. Can't we use the engine? No, oh, you don't have engines on sailing boats, Danny. Oh. <laughs> the sailing boat does have an engine. Full sail! <laughs> Emily and her family are in the lead. Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh. We're going to win the race! <laughs> Here come Danny and Captain Dog. Hooray! We win! <laughs> <laughs> that was exhausting. Next time we'll take a sailing boat. Yes. Sailing boats have engines on them. Daddy? See you later, Danny. I've decided to sail around the world again. But you said you were going to stay home. Oh, yes. I'm not a sailor anymore. But I do love boating on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves boating on the lake. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Great Barrier Reef. Peppa is on holiday in Australia at Kylie Kangaroo's house. I love it here at your house, Kylie. Yes, I could stay here forever. It's great having you all stay, but I will have to go to work today. 
What is your job, Mrs Kangaroo? I'm a marine biologist. What's that? I study sea creatures, like these little fish here. Ooh, a fish tank. But the fish I study don't live in a tank. They live in the sea. Do the fishes in the sea have little bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? <laughs> no, Peppa. That's just the sort of stuff people put in fish tanks. Would you all like to come and see where I work? Yes, please. I've been to where my daddy works. There was a telephone, lots of paper and colouring pens. It was a very nice office. I think you'll find my office is pretty fun too. <laughs> <laughs> this is my office. Where? There, Pepper. The sea. I've got the best office in the world. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. Wow! wow. Do you want a ride? Yes, please. Okay, hop in. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> A little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, you're right, Pepper. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. Thank you, Mrs Kangaroo. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Time story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> the bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George is awake. I saw. George, 
You naughty piggy. Go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. George! Night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, yes. Baby Bear said, that was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night, night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mr. Bull in a china shop. Pepper and her family are going for a drive. <laughs> I love our car. Ho, ho! And our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> Stop! It is Mr. Bull and his friends. Digger! Digger! <laughs> George likes diggers. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's up? We're digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <laughs> Lads, let's smash up this old pipe. 
Mr Bull is good at smashing things. Wow! Tea break! Oh dear, now we'll have to wait even longer. Why don't you join us, Mummy Pig? Plenty of tea to go around. That sounds lovely. Thank you, Mr Bull. <laughs> A nice teapot, Mr. Bull. Yes, Pepper. It's made of delicate china. Mr. Bull likes delicate china. You have to be very, very careful with china. Why? Because china can break very easily. <coughs> That's why I always. <gasps> Oh dear, Mr Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not going to work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go! <laughs> Mr Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. There we are! Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh, dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> oh, these two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well done, Pepper. I'll glue those bits together. <laughs> George has also found two pieces that fit. Well done, George. <laughs> Nearly finished. That's the lid. There's just this funny shaped bit left. Where does that go? <laughs> That's the teapot's handle, Miss Rabbit. Oh, so it is. I don't know much about china teapots. It's as good as new. Be careful not to smash it again. Oh, I am very good at smashing things. <gasps> oh. <gasps> well done, Pepper. Thank you for mending my teapot, Miss Rabbit. No trouble, Mr. Bull. Phew. Look, boss, a pothole. There is a small hole in the road. And it's right outside Miss Rabbit's shop. What do you think, lads? Can we have a hole outside Miss Rabbit's shop? No! You fix my teapot, I'll fix your road. Uh, it's not my road. Mr Bull, how are you going to mend the hole? We'll dig up the road! Mr. Bull is digging up the road. <laughs> Mr. Bull likes digging up the road. Everybody likes digging up the road. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. It is the end of Peppa's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <laughs> don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No. It's a thing. Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang. A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow. Thank you, Kylie. 
Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! The boomerang has flown all the way back to Pepper. What was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this! Ooh! Ooh. It's good, it's good, it's a good throw! Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I've loved having you stay, Pepper. We've loved it too, haven't we, George? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your present. Oh, yes, the boomerang. Thank you. <laughs> Come back again. I will, just like the boomerang. <laughs> Pepper has had the best holiday ever with Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Lost keys. Peppa and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the mountain beauty spot. See you again soon. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <coughs> You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. <coughs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need 
is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Bull and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr. Mr Bull. Welcome to the mountain beauty spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road. Hooray! Hooray! Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop. What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh, where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now. Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh. All thanks to my daddy. Uh, and Mr Bull. Yes, I'm good at digging holes. Mr Bull loves digging holes. <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes. <laughs> Little brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Fruit. It is fruit day at the supermarket. Look, it's Mr. Potato. Mrs. Carrot. Sweet cranberry and little sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, Apple, orange, banana, banana pear, and pineapple too. Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day, where the magic of fruit never ends. Wow, so much fruit. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello. We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? Is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. 
strawberry. George loves strawberries. Smoothies. Get your fruit smoothies here. <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. <laughs> Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK. Raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. Mm, lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. <laughs> hmm. There's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot? Yes, a carrot. Hooray! Dinosaur juice for everyone. Mm. Are you all enjoying fruit day? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. <laughs> Everyone loves fruit and carrots. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Father Christmas. It is almost Christmas. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, we are going to do a Christmas play. Hooray! Danny will be Father Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Wendy Wolf can be an elf. Oh, goody. Can I be a Christmas fairy? <laughs> Peppa will be the Christmas fairy. I want to be the nurse. I don't think there is a nurse at Christmas, Susie. But what if somebody gets ill? Good point. Susie will be the Christmas nurse. I want to be a snowflake. OK. <laughs> now, you can all practice your parts. <laughs> it is the next day. Peppa and her family are at the supermarket. Daddy, look. It's Father Christmas. Why don't you go over and say hello? Hello. It's me, Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa. Are you looking forward to Christmas? Yes. We are doing a Christmas play. I am the fairy, Susie is the nurse, and Danny is you. <gasps> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Will you come and see our play? 
I am rather busy at this time of the year. Oh, please. I will do my best. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are putting up Christmas decorations. <laughs> Father Christmas is coming to see our play. How do you know? I saw him at the supermarket. I saw him at the garden centre, but he didn't tell me. I saw him at the shopping centre, and he didn't tell me. Oh. Pepper and her family have come to the Christmas tree shop. Look! It's Father Christmas again. Hello. And who might you be? Peppa. <coughs> you haven't forgotten. Forgotten? No, no, no. Good. So, you will come to the play? Play? Our Christmas play. Of course. I will do my very best to come. Oh, goody. It is time for the Christmas play. All the parents have come to watch. Are we ready to start, children? We can't start. Father Christmas isn't here. He did say he might be a little bit too busy to come tonight, Peppa. Did he? But look, your parents are here. The show must go on. Snow, snow is what we like. Snow by day and snow by night. And when it snows, it turns things white. Snow, snow, snow. I am the Christmas fairy. Ho, ho, ho. I am Father Christmas. <laughs> Nurse, and I need to check if you are well. Say ah, ah. You're fine. Off you go. Wonderful. Ho, ho, ho. Father Christmas. You came to see our play after all. And it's very good. Do you really go all around the world on Christmas night? Yes. How do you do it? With my magic sleigh and reindeer. See your sleigh? Uh, well, I'm sure Father Christmas is a bit too busy to show us his sleigh. It's true, I am very busy. But of course, you can see my sleigh. Come outside, everyone. Wow! It's beautiful. What's it like to ride in? Hop in. I'll show you. Why not? A little drive around the car park. Hang on, everybody. Ready, steady, go! This is amazing! Oh, my goodness! We're flying! Can you go faster? Hold tight! Whoa! Let's do a loop the loop. Uh, yes. Happy Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> 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 